<laughs> We're talking about the showdown in Florida over the possible purging of thousands of voters off the voter rolls. Back with me at the table are Anthea Butler, religious studies professor at the University of Pennsylvania, Raul Reyes, attorney and, and NBC Latino contributor Dorian Warren of Columbia University and Judith Brown Dianis, co-director of the Advancement Project, whose group is prepared to file a lawsuit against Florida if necessary. Here's my fear about the lawsuit. This Supreme Court and this federal judiciary terrifies me. If you guys take Florida to court, mm -hmm. is this the end of the voting rights act? No, it's okay. not. I mean, first of all, we'll be um, filing a lawsuit under the National Voter Registration Act. We have to step back and look at what has happened here. Florida always likes to be on the cutting edge of voter suppression. <laughs> That's right. They're innovators in, That's in right. voter suppression. And so what they've done is they've taken a, a page out of the playbook of the Republican voter suppression model, right, mm. which is a, it's not just voter ID that we saw that passed in nine states over the past two years, right. but it's also these purges. And that's how you win elections. And why yeah. people should care is because 2000, it was 537 votes that that election came down to. Yep. Here we're talking about 180,000 potential voters who could be purged, mostly Latino. But we also need to know that it impacts the elderly, yep. it impacts college students. So, you know, so this is a broad play that they're going for. And, you know, we're going to fight it. And DOJ is stepping in. So it's great that we're, we're you know, really anteing up. And the governor's decided to be recalcitrant. Yeah, right. This is, so I read an article that I'm not sure I agree with, but it's just he's standing in the schoolhouse door, yeah. right? This idea of right. massive resistance right. and in a purple state with 29 electoral college that's votes, right. right? I mean, it's one thing to do this in a state that's likely to be Democrat or Republican, but I mean, Florida might decide the election. I have to say, you know, I found it incredibly courageous that Mr. Sancho is, is willing to, to step up and lay it all out there, you yep, know, be yep. so honest about it. And, you know, the, when you look at the statistics of the names on the, on that, yep. in this purge, it's 58 percent Hispanic, That's I believe, 14 percent right. African American. That's right. So it's mm -hmm. quite blatant and it's very yeah. troubling. It's very and disturbing. Local, exactly. local election officials are saying, hold on, we are not getting in this partisan mess mm -hmm. and we're not going to be they sued because be they, they know that we'll they come for them, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two words to say. State rights. This is what this is about. He is trying to assert the state right to do whatever they want to do. And you can read this bag, Bull Connor, all the rest of them. Yeah. We're doing the same old thing again. We're disenfranchising people. And I love that for all the state's rights language, it's the local officials who are like, well, no, not over yeah. here. Exactly. This is, you know, we were talking earlier on one of the breaks about the incredible turnout in Wisconsin earlier right. this week. Yeah. We should be having a discussion about how to expand our democracy right. and yes. get everybody right. to the polls. And instead... We're forced to have this discussion and right. fight these battles around voter right. suppression. It, it's it's amazing to me right. how in the 21st century right. we're still having this fight around the age-old tactic. If you can't win the election, you just exclude people right. Right. from yeah, voting in the so. first place. And, and if you win because you have better ideas and a better ground game and more voters choose you, fine, right? right? Yeah, but right. if you win because you have purged actual right. citizens from the polls, the laws, right. and then you know change the rules of the game, and all for partisan gain. Instead, and it's really about undermining democracy. That's what they're trying to do to cut off participation so that the people who showed up in 2008 minorities, college students, elderly, the disabled won't show up this time. So how do we build the largest possible coalition? I mean, yes, folks who look like the folks sitting around this table right now are those most likely to be impacted. But because this is about the quality of our democracy, how do we build the largest possible coalition? I think the way you have to start is to really fight back against this and realize, help people to understand what the history of voting has been. And that we need to recognize that lots of people died so that we'd have the right to vote. I remember when MTV started out the Get Out the Vote campaigns and all this in the previous elections. We need the same thing, except in Florida right now, it can't even do it. The League of Women Voters, their hands are tied. You can't Florida's even register. So it's back yeah, yeah. Don't get out the vote. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody stay <laughs> home. Yeah, and that, you know, at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter whether you're right or left. You should mm -hmm. care about about democracy. Exactly. You know, it's a great equalizer. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, white or black on election day, we all have the same amount of power. Right. It's supposed to be that moment is, yeah, is right. the one one person, one vote. In a moment, there are three Jersey girls who could have spent their summer at the shore, but instead they decided to help change the world. But first, it's time for a preview of Weekends with Alex Witt. Hi, Alex. Yes, 